Hey everybody, it's Aaron checking in with you. Uh, mobile update from Gen Financial today. Uh, I wanted to touch base with you on a couple of items. The first one is performance, trading, and near-term expectations. Uh, we've been really pleased with the performance in our models uh, this past year. And just as kind of a highlight, obviously it ranges a little bit as we move across the risk spectrum from conservative to more aggressive, but basically from January 1st until now, you know, it's not a perfect high point, but from a relatively high point to now, um, perform, uh, performance of the portfolios is negative by about three to 6%. Again, just depending on that risk model. And performance over the last 12 months is positive by about that same amount. And so if we give ourselves just a little bit more history, look back until last June, um, the models are you know, slightly positive. We're pleased with these results given the craziness of the environment that we find ourselves in. Um, we do anticipate continued volatility. It is easy to feel a little bit complacent because it feels like um, the world is settling down. Things are feeling a little bit uh, more normal. We do think that the volatility is going to continue to persist. Uh, we're going to continue to deal with um, you know, some you know, public health and virus issues for some time here. But in addition to that, dealing with the ramifications, the economic ramifications that come from that, uh, from shutting down the economy for three months and now just slowly transitioning back to a normal world. And we just don't know what that looks like. Um, the variability is going to be uh, significant. And, um, you know, earnings are going to be lower uh, for some, you know, for some companies. And there's others where uh, companies have reduced their projections significantly, because why wouldn't you in this scenario just put out a low number? And, um, you know, it's, it's far easier to, to, uh, to do, you know, better and be rewarded for that than to underperform. So um, we think that we're going to see both of those situations play out, companies where the earnings just legitimately are significantly less, and others where they put out low estimates and it's actually not nearly as bad as they uh, expected. And so, you know, what we plan to do is the exact same thing that we've been doing, which is continue to rebalance the portfolios, continue to be diligent and disciplined in the way that we approach that. Um, and, and we expect the, the, vol the trading volume to continue kind of as it has. Normally we'd rebalance accounts, I'd say one to three times a year and we can keep the portfolios in alignment with that much trading. You know, as you've seen from confirmations, it's just been significantly higher than that. Um, you know, we rebalanced portfolios in the last uh, two weeks that we rebalanced in uh, March and April. Now it does it, it does create uh, positive results and benefits to you from doing you know these uh, transactions. It's hard to see it sometimes when we're just looking at the top line number that you know hey we're still down a couple percent here year to date. Um, but as uh, time progresses and we see the the performance roll out over a longer period of time, we're very confident in how those results will look. Um, you know, if you were to look at very specific trades, you know, uh, things that we were, um, we sold stocks and bought bonds and real estate at the end of last year, early this year, as they were at a really high point, just keeping the portfolios on track by, um, mid March through early April, we were, uh, doing the opposite. We're taking money back out of bonds, um, moving that money back into stocks, buying them at the low point. And we've already started to unwind some of those trades now in uh, June. And, and the results have been very positive, whether it was international small companies, U.S. small value companies, infrastructure. Um, from the point we um, added to those positions in March to now, you know, we've seen, you know, 40, well, I call it 30 to 50 percent um you know, price appreciation in those investments during that short window of time. Uh, and, and as we're able to just do that on a repetitive basis, it just adds incremental performance to the portfolio. So we're excited to, uh, to see um, how this plays out in the long run, but um, just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, we're not becoming complacent, uh, even though we've had significant rebound in the economy, or not down in the economy, really in the market, the economy is a big fat question mark. Um, but, um, wanted to touch base. It's been a little while since I chatted with you. Second thing is just a big thank you for participating in the Gen holiday gift match. Uh, we'd sent out the information on that here a couple weeks ago. We started it early. Uh, it's the gift match that we normally do in December. We moved it up to June, just given, uh, all of the need that is, um, you know, present right now. 
And uh, just a big thank you. You guys have already sent in over $5,600 and we're halfway through June. And that amount will be matched by Jen and sent off to the charity of your choice. If you haven't sent in a check yet, there's still time. Uh, we're excited to hear from you. Please reach out. Let us know if you have any questions uh, along the way. We look forward to speaking with you. Stay safe and talk to you soon.